डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर राजीव सप्रे दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स अबाउट द चॉक्टर परमोडेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज अबाउट एच एस सी मैथमेटिक्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी रिवाइज ऑल द चॉक्टर थरोली इच एंड एवरी थिंग आई एक्सप्लेन अगेन and now we are in a position to solve this miscellaneous exercise on the chapter number 3 now they have uh, at the beginning given some mcqs so one or two of those mcqs we will try to solve and then we will go for uh, descriptive problems so okay so now in this uh, lecture we will start with uh, miscellaneous exercise okay miscellaneous exercise we will start and in that uh, we are going to work on this mcqs so that is the uh, first part first question we can say in that come to the first part now what is there a college offers five courses in the morning and three in the evening right the number of ways a student can select exactly one course either in the morning or in the evening now this is very obvious question see there are five courses in the morning five courses in morning session and uh, how many are there three courses in the evening session okay and student is interested in selecting exactly one course either in morning or in the evening right or means addition so there are five courses in the morning so he can choose any one of them so the way in in which he can choose a morning course is five and the way in which he can choose the evening course is three the number of ways are three so or means addition so there will be five plus three that means eight ways in which he can choose a course in the morning session or course in the evening session so eight is the answer c okay now this is another second question a college has seven courses in the morning and three in the evening and what is asked the possible number of choices with the student if he wants to study one course in the morning and one in the evening and is there now so now the data is changed instead of five courses now in the second problem there are seven courses right in the morning session and uh, three courses is it right yes three courses in the evening session three courses in the evening session now the condition is changed he wants to uh, see he wants to study one course in the morning and one in the evening now in the morning there are seven courses available so he can choose uh, a course in the morning session in seven ways and the second activity that means choosing a course in the evening session there are three courses manje is kay morning course morning sathi je kay sat courses hai tyatun tela ek select karaycha so seven ways are there and from the evening there are three courses so three ways are there so whenever you are you, you saying and one course in the morning and one course in the evening so it is by multiplication principle 7 into 3 so 21 ways so a is the answer see this is the answer right so questions are simple just you have to understand whether it is uh, or to be used or and to be used if i want to use or then it is addition if i want to use and then it is multiplication like that okay now see here third part in that in how many ways can eight indians and four americans and four englishmen can be seated in a row so that all the persons in the same nationality sit together now this is a also a popular type of question what are what is the data given to you there are uh, say uh, eight indians okay eight indians then what four american okay and four englishmen right they have to be seated in a row so this is not product problem of circular permutation it is a usual permutation but now what is the condition given so that all the persons of same nationality sit together so all eight indians must be together all four americans must be together or and four englishmen must be together 
when they want when they are to be together we have to consider it as one object only right so these are three objects now this is one bundle see this this is one bundle we will say uh, okay i will enclose that in a bracket uh, in a circle so that this is one bundle this is another bundle and uh, th this is another bundle we will say and this is another bundle now we have to arrange these three bundles first and then among themselves being together eight indians can be arranged in how many ways you know all the objects when you take how many permutations we can make n factorial if n are the distinct objects manjes kay will he teen bundles je ahet ti pratham mala three factorial ways arrange karta yetil right three bundles i can arrange in three factorial ways but after that i can arrange them in three factorial but in any arrangement these eight indians can be arranged in n eight factorial ways four americans in four factorial ways four englishmen in four factorial ways right so this is the total number of the arrangements that are possible ata asha type se problems nehme asat ha pattern tumcha lakshat yala pai whenever they say that this particular number of objects must be always together treat them treat those objects as one object only म्हणून हे आपल्याला उत्तर मिळालं म्हणजे यातलं कुठलं आलं बघा बी राईट सो बी इज द अन्सर हिअर दिस इज दॅट अन्सर थ्री फॅक्टोरियल फोर फॅक्टोरियल एट फॅक्टोरियल फोर फॅक्टोरियल राईट सो ॲज फार ॲज थ्री इज कन्सर्न बी इज द अन्सर हिअर इट वॉज ए इन सेकंड केस अँड इन फर्स्ट केस इट वॉज सी राईट सो दीज आर सिम्पल प्रॉब्लेम्स नथिंग डिफिकल्ट ओनली थिंग इज यू हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड द विच प्रिन्सिपल वी हॅव टू यूज वेदर इट इज ॲडिशन प्रिन्सिपल ऑर मल्टिप्लिकेशन प्रिन्सिपल ओके नाव ठीक आहे नाव नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लेम वी विल ट्राय इट विल बी से प्रॉब्लेम नंबर some problems we will do now because every problem we need not be do not necessary because already we have uh, discussed problems like this so just some problems we will do now see uh, problem number say 8 we will try problem number 8 and see what happens to that ide kay matle baka there are 10 persons among whom two are brothers right the total number of ways in which these persons can be seated around a round table so that exactly one person sits between the brothers what is it equal to i will give you the hint here see we don't want see what happens is 10 persons are among the, those 10 persons two are brothers so remaining are eight right if you consider them to be one object two brothers right then what see the total number of ways in which these persons can be seated around a round table so that exactly one person sits between the brothers we want exactly one person between the two brothers so i think this is not a difficult problem you can try this see what is the what is the expected thing <coughs> expected thing i will tell then you can try hints whenever are given you should be able to do the problems now instead of 10 suppose there are six persons only right so what i can say say a suppose a and b are two brothers and then c d e f are other persons these are two brothers i am uh, i am making this problem in small scale so that you can try these are two brothers and these are remaining persons remaining persons okay now what what type of arrangement is expected what is the arrangement that is expected <coughs> see now suppose i make this c d e f c together means sit in the on the round table c d e f okay now what is told to us that there is exactly one person between a and b so one of those arrangements can be here you can say sit a a you can allow to sit him here and b here so now there is exactly one person between a and b like this they expect you to do the arrangements see now now this is not the only arrangement this is one arrangement or other thing what can be done now this uh, c d e f no so c and d now c 
but instead of this this a you can bring here also right here also you can bring a now once the a has been brought here then this is what again we can see that between two brothers there is exactly one person okay so now you know that if there are six particular per six persons uh, different persons actually persons will be different these are different objects so how many arrangements are possible in a circular table when you do they are five factorial correct these are five factorial five factorial arrangements are there but now what this is okay but these five factorial arrangements are there whenever there are no restrictions at all but whenever a particular restriction is there then you can think how this can be done tumhi vichar kara ya problem var he aale pahijet asle problems apnala sope asta kathin kahis nasta apnala je rules shikavlele ahet circular permutations ani all those we can use so some in some problems after this after from this lecture onwards in some problems i will just give the hint on which you have to build your answer right so that will be a nice practice of uh, working on these problems okay so that is about uh, that problem now coming to the next coming to next exercise here we can say we will do these problems now this is part 2 of that see how many uh, second part we will do in that right from now to second part see what is the question how many words can be formed by writing the letters of the word crown in different order now this is very simple crown ha jo shabd tumhala tani dilela hai tyachyamadhe ekhi letter repeated nahi hai mhanje he sarva distinct objects hai ani mh distinct objects ar n astil tar te sarva cha sarva ghevun mala baga mh tani kai matla hai how many words can be formed by writing the writing the letters in the word crown manje kay all the letters i have to select how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 five letters are there and these are all distinct objects so five factorial permutations are possible right so what i can say there are five letters all distinct i am not writing exact model answer here just i am telling you how to do that right so all distinct so how many arrangements can be made five factorial uh, different words can be formed five factorial different words can be formed theek okay. hai so all such problems you can work on they are not difficult then uh, we will go for some other problems okay we will go from uh, go for directly problem number 11 from the from this exercise and it says you that a, a hall has 12 lamps and every lamp can be switched on independently mhanje yacha arth kay की असं नाही होणार आहे की एक मी स्विच ऑन केला की दोन तीन बल्ब लागणार आहेत असं नाही होणार इच लॅम्प हॅज अ करस्पॉन्डिंग स्विच फाइंड अ नंबर ऑफ वेज ऑफ इल्युमिनेटिंग द हॉल म्हणजे तो हॉल प्रकाशित होईल अशा किती असे किती मार्ग आहेत असं त्यांनी विचारलं आहे तुम्हाला हॉल हॅज ट्वेल्फ लॅम्प्स ओके डेटा काय दिलेला आहे बघा ट्वेल्फ लॅम्प्स आर देअर राईट अँड दे हॅव इंडिपेंडंट स्विचेस इंडिपेंडंट आय एन डी स्रो फक्त मी लिहितोय इंडिपेंडंट स्विचेस वी वॉन्ट रूम टू बी एल्युमिनेटेड रूम इज टू बी एल्युमिनेटेड रूम इज टू बी एल्युमिनेटेड ओके म्हणजेच काय होईल बघा म्हणजे काय होईल की सपोज यू स्विच ऑन वन ऑफ द if you make one switch on still room is illuminated manje kay hoil mala ithe ek switch select karaycha kiwa don kiwa tin kiwa char asa up to 12 all switches sari ap tumhi on kele tari ti room prakashit honare sarva cha sarva bulb lagtil pan room prakashit hona sathi kiti mala choose karave lagtil one or two ek jari choose kelat na c find the number of ways of illuminating the hall so the number of ways will be 
you can select one switch or two switch or three switches or finally all the 12 switches switches म्हणजे एक स्विच स्विच केलात एक स्विच ऑन केलात किंवा दोन ऑन केलेत किंवा तीन ऑन केलेत म्हणजे आता एक स्विच मी किती प्रकारे ऑन करू शकतो 12c one way second switch दोन स्विच मी किती प्रकारे ऑन करू शकतो 12c two way किंवा तीन स्विचेस म्हणजे 12c three and so on finally it will be 12c twelve these are the number of ways okay by which room can be illuminated but what does it mean Hazer mala evda sarva calculate karaycha asel tar what i can do is you know this one formula right we know that we know that uh, uh, nc0 plus nc1 etc up to ncn is 2 raised to n so if i use this formula here ही जी क्वांटिटी जी आपणाला समजा याला आपण ए म्हणूया ए म्हणजे काय आहे बघा इट इज 12c0 प्लस 12c1 एटसेट्रा अप टू 12c0 12c12 ही सर्व क्वांटिटी माइनस 12c0 म्हणजे ए आहे ना सो वी वांट टू फाइंड द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ दिस सो वी कॅन से ए इज इक्वल टू ओके बट बाय युजिंग दिस फॉर्म्युला दिस ब्रॅकेटेड क्वांटिटी इज टू रेस टू ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज टू रेस टू ट्वेल्व मायनस ट्वेल्व सी झिरो टू एनिथिंग एन सी झिरो इज ऑलवेज वन सो मायनस वन दिस इज द अँसर टू रेस टू ट्वेल्व मायनस वन ओके सो आय थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रॉब्लेम नाव नेक्स्ट वन मोर प्रॉब्लेम वी विल डू दिस अँसर रूम विल बी एल्युमिनेटेड in 2 raised to 12 minus 1 ways this can be the answer or this is the answer okay now next we will go for uh, problem number say 15 right problem number 15 what is there find the number of ways of dividing 20 objects in three groups of sizes 8 7 and 5 so i am trying problem number 15 from that exercise miscellaneous exercise on chapter number 3 what is that problem find the number of ways of dividing 20 objects so in all there are 20 objects and we want to divide those 20 objects into three parts first part is of eight objects seven as uh, next part is of seven objects and third is of five objects ase teen bhag mala karayche manje kay karayla pahije mala adi mala eight objects select kele pahije ki ek bhag hoil tatla ekun majya kade 20 objects ahet mala te teen bhagat divide karayche pahila jo bhag hai to 8 objects cha pahije mala manje mala 20 madun 8 objects select karave lagtil so you know that number of ways are 20c 20c8 ata he jhalya nantar 8 objects atle select jhalech ahet म्हणजे पुढचे सात ऑब्जेक्ट सिलेक्ट करताना मला या आठ ऑब्जेक्टचा काहीच उपयोग नाही आहे म्हणजेच आता मला आठ ऑब्जेक्टचे बाजूला करावे लागतील म्हणजे ते झाले सिलेक्ट ऑलरेडी म्हणजे आता उरले किती बारा ऑब्जेक्ट्स त्याच्यामधून मी सात ऑब्जेक्ट सिलेक्ट करणार सो दॅट इज ट्वेल ट्वेल्व सी सेवन वेज आणि एकदा हे आठ आणि सात पंधरा ऑब्जेक्ट सिलेक्ट झाल्यानंतर उरले पाच त्याच्यामधून मला देर इज नो अदर चॉईस बट टू सिलेक्ट ऑल द रिमेनिंग फायू सो फायू सी फायू so this is the answer this calculation you can do right 20c8 12c7 5c5 this the uh, no, out of that 5c5 is 1 because there are 5 objects and you are selecting all the 5 from that so that 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 answer is 1 but then remaining calculations you can do and write down answer okay now uh, okay now see the problem number 16 there are four doctors and eight lawyers in a panel find the number of ways of selecting a team of six if at least one doctor must be in the team now this type of problems already we have discussed but still as a part of this lecture we will complete this also now what is the question this is problem number 16 from the miscellaneous exercises right what is there now there are four doctors and eight lawyers four doctors eight lawyers this is given now what is asked 
find the number of ways for selecting team of six. So we have to select team of six from totally 12 persons here. And how should be that team? At least one doctor must be in the team. Right? So we can uh, do something like this. Doctors table you should prepare in such problems. Doctors lawyers. Okay, number of ways. Number of ways. And what is asked? Team of six. What was the condition given? At least one lawyer. At least one uh, doctor. Na? Sorry. At least one doctor. At least one doctor. This is the condition given. So I will enlarge the screen. So now what is expected? At least one doctor. So you start here. One. Now, a team of six, actually doctors are four and lawyers are eight. So, I want to prepare a team of six, uh, team of six persons. I have to prepare a team of six persons. At least one doctor is there. I have to prepare a doctor. I have to prepare a doctor. I have to prepare a doctor. I have to prepare a team of six persons. I have to prepare a doctor. The possibility is that two doctors and I have to prepare four lawyers. The third possibility is that three doctors. आणि मग त्यावेळी होणार तीन लॉयर्स आणि मग चौथी पॉसिबिलिटी काय होईल फोर डॉक्टर्स आणि मग त्यावेळी होणार टू लॉयर्स म्हणजे एकूण सहा जणांच्या टीम्स तयार होतील परंतु हा वन डॉक्टर आय कॅन चूज फ्रॉम फोर इन हाऊ मेनी वेज फोर सी वन वेज इन टू एट सी फाईव्ह मग प्लस नॉ टू डॉक्टर्स सो फोर सी टू इन टू एट सी फोर दिस इज सेकंड पॉसिबिलिटी टू डॉक्टर्स फोर लॉयर्स टीम ऑफ सिक्स ऑर 4C3 into 8C3 and finally 4C4 into 8C2 right so now you can calculate this these calculations are not difficult you know the formula of NCR and uh, it is n factorial upon what n minus r factorial into r factorial so you can use this formula and it is the 4C1 which is 4 as the अशा ज्या गोष्टी आहेत ना एन सी वन बघा एन सी वन इज एन करेक्ट देन वॉट एन सी टू मला तो फॉर्म्युला इथे वापरता येईल एट सी टू वॉट इज दॅट एट सी एन सी टू इज वॉट एन इन टू एन मायनस वन अपॉन टू लाईक दिस करेक्ट अँड ऑल्सो वेन एव्हर रिक्वायर्ड यू कॅन यूज द फॉर्म्युला दॅट एन सी आर इज सेम ॲज एन सी एन मायनस आर म्हणजे कसं आहे बघा इथे आता तुम्हाला एट सी थ्री आहे ते एट सी थ्री म्हणजेच एट सी फाईव्ह असणार म्हणजे एकदा इथे ही व्हॅल्यू काढून झाली की इथे वेगळं मला ते करायला नको यू शूड जस्ट रिझन इट की एट सी फाईव्ह इज सेम ॲज एट सी थ्री वाय एट सी फाईव्ह इज सेम ॲज एट सी थ्री बिकॉज ऑफ धिस एन सी आर इज सेम ॲज एन सी एन मायनस आर लाईक धिस यू कॅन शॉर्टन द टाईम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेकिंग दिस कॅल्क्युलेशन्स बाय युझिंग द फॉर्म्युले दॅट इज बाय व्हेरी नाईस परफेक्ट नॉलेज ऑफ फॉर्म्युले इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट वाईल डुईंग मॅथमॅटिक्स ओके सो uh we will stop here in this lecture this chapter is completed 26 lectures i have devoted for this chapter i am sure that if you listen all these lectures if you study all these lectures i can say then definitely you will be uh, you will understand this chapter properly thoroughly thank you